When, when you look at the actual practical implementation and usage you've seen until now in Jebel Ali, what are the improvements that you have actually seen, uh, both compared to what you anticipated and have there also been other positive developments that came out of this that you did not envision? When you start something doing completely different, you go a journey, and on that journey you find out more and more. So, for example, we found out um, that most that the key productivity on the key wall is, is improved as well. And the reason is because the planning inside the storage system itself works better. When you have a regular rack and you have, let's say, sticking containers, well, many things go, go wrong because you have to shuffle and you have more interactions from outside. With a high base store, where if you have direct access to every box, it's a relatively easy uh, equation. It's a more or less, I would say, geometrical equation, kinematic equation to calculate a little bit how long does it take to bring a container from the slot zone, so and so, to the interchange zone. If you are much more correct with this prognosis, the trust system planning your, your ground transportation, I don't know, whatever you run, is better in performing with the job to bring the container exactly in time, in the right sequence, in, the, in, in between that different very short slot, earliest and latest arrival time to the key wall, where we normally lose the time and lost time is gone. This is, for example, one big improvement. Of course, the, the low-brainer is installing a high base store means um, direct access. Direct access means no more unpaid moves, much less, uh, let's say, uh, what you have to pay for wheel and tier and, and, and let's say running the machine costs you energy. Uh, you have only to pay energy uh, for a productive move. And um, the um, interesting thing during we run the system was also then we one day came to the idea, well, it could be good to equip the whole building with a solar roof. Then we started to calculate and I have, I'm, I'm not ashamed, we, it was not the first thing we thought of, but when we calculated, it was relatively easy because you know exactly where in the world what you can harvest on solar energy according to that what's currently available on, put on, on the efficiency of the, of the cells. Well, it came suddenly to the result that we have an enormous amount of overcapacity when you install box bay. In other words, here in Dubai, I think it's 300% overcapacity what you get out of the solar roof when you already have run the system and in uh, Antwerp it's still 150%, 160% where of course it's much less, the sun is slower and it's raining more and so on. Then when founding out this, well, the potential customers said, well, that is interesting for us. They were not so much interested in, in other, th they came and said, well, we want to improve our CO2 footprint.